and welcome to iTom with me, Tom. The show that dives into pop cultural happenings and brings you the facts straight up. So in this week's episode, I went to the game launch event of Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, held at the Ice Tank in London's Covent Garden. It's an amazing venue, which is a large white space with some major AV hardware. The event was organised by TT Games, the makers of Lego Dimensions, Lego Harry Potter, Lego Batman. Well, you get the idea, they make great Lego games. And the head of design at TT Games, Arthur Parsons, was in attendance to drop some knowledge bombs about their latest Lego Marvel mashup. So, I'm going to hit you with some vlogging, some gameplay footage and an interview with Arthur from the launch event. So I'm here inside the event, I'm waiting to play on Lego Marvel's uh, Super Heroes 2. Um, I can't wait, I'm proper buzzing. Bring on some spider ham. So I've just played the game, um, it's super Marvel, it's super Lego-y. Um, you start off playing with the Guardians of the Galaxy, you have to solve some puzzles, everything's exploding. You know, really sort of Marvel and Lego, like, turned up to 11. So, I'm going to be honest here, I wasn't on the list to interview Arthur Parsons that night. There were 15 slots available and they were all booked up before the event. But Adam, a team member from Warner Brothers, hooked me up with an extra slot. So, a big thank you to you. And to Arthur, who didn't mind my offbeat approach to the interview, he was super engaging and thoughtful. So, Adam and Arthur, you've both been awarded the ITOM Solid Dude Seal of Approval. Congrats, guys. However, I got the Rubbish Cameraman Trophy. Sadly, my camera skills were straight trash. The autofocus was still on. But it's still a fun and short interview, so enjoy. I am, by trade, a failed architect. Um, I wanted to be an architect and unfortunately didn't get the A-level grades I wanted. Um, so I guess now I'm kind of a game architect. That's the way I look at it. Um, you know, you're the person that is effectively holding the vision or creating a vision, um, communicating that down to a, a, a talented team of people that are going to make it, very much like an architect comes up with like the shard and then uh, a talented team of builders make the shard um, so whether whether I, I kind of actually use anything I learnt or, or didn't learn um, or, or whether it's more just a hypothetical thing I don't know but it's interesting you know, I, I, I guess the thing I always wanted to be which was an architect I guess I am just in a different field obviously the art team um, that, that, that I work with they do do more research but yeah, when if you think our Chronopolis hub is, is 18 unique Marvel areas stitched together. So when you're stitching together an underwater city with like a snowy Manhattan, with um, a very art deco noir Manhattan um, and an old Wild West, but it all needs to feel like it's one breathing city. Um, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of real world influence in, in how those kind of merge and combine and, and how you can have ancient Egypt sat alongside, you know, somewhere like Manhattan and how they blend together and things. It's, um, it's interesting, it's exciting. The, the, the first thing that we wrote was better. Um, and, and, and it's because it's a sequel to Lego Marvel Super Heroes, it had to be better. Uh, um, so Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 had to be better, not not just, oh, this bit's better or that bit better, but everything had to be better. Um, so, so we took the first game as a foundation and everything had to be better. So the open world had to be bigger and better, um, more immersive, more stuff going on, more things to do. The character roster had to be more dynamic, more, more um, varied, more exciting. Each character had to have more attention paid to it. So, so more animations, more personality, more character, more mechanics. Um, the gameplay had to be better, you know. Um, and then even little silly little things like um, the the flight, the controls for the flight had to be better. Um, so yeah, I think I think the word was better. <laughs> uh, um, who knows if there will be a sequel? Um, but, but yeah, I'm glad you mentioned Spider-Ham. Um, finally managed to get that character in a, a Lego Marvel game. Um, 
and he's one of many weird, obscure, wacky characters that that we had to get in the game. So um, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that a lot of people will be energised and will go and read comics now because they'll be introduced to characters that they had no idea even existed. So, fingers crossed. So there you have it, the game launch event for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. It's available on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Microsoft Windows right now. I got a copy of my swag bag, ball in and it's fire. It's an open world action adventure game with 18 different LEGO worlds taken from some of the deepest cuts in the Marvel Universe like Spider-Man Noir, set in 1930s Manhattan, and it has a crazy character roster featuring over 300 different superhero characters, including my favourite, Peter Porker, aka Spider-Ham. So why not grab a copy for Christmas? And finally, as always, I want to give a big shout out to TT Games, Warner Brothers, and to Ellie, Adam and Arthur, and of course, Ruber's own Tom Blatt for making this all happen. So this has been I, Tom. I've been Tom, and I'll catch up with you next episode.